I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok... Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Some people kept diaries, so... Let's, let's see. Did the stream drop? Whoa. Didn't didn't drop. Stream didn't drop. Okay. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Okay. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. So that was An Bakar's exceptional level castle. of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Check, check. Mm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Well, I think Black has something else to think about now. It's an outrage! No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius Pratt! Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They pay filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what Astoria Cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel and place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Ah. Uh. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I can 
important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Uh huh. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about ah, it. Spy. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken? Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. Well, that's I far away. Matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Like make tutorial. Broadcast about how to, how to start with that game. Hello? Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt yes. thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil. And he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because uh. he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Yes. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore. And if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Calm down, I'm here now. And many Calm people died down. for it. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I have a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Returning you to the three broomsticks is What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the hog's head instead? I've heard such nice things. What a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Okay, three broomsticks or the hog's head in. Okay. Hawks heads, it, it's, it's going to be Merlin trial. This game is definitely trying to push me to bring it back, but maybe I want, don't want to. What 
What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks. Well, she'd have. No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place. It's absolutely vile in here. Oh, give it a chance. You might grow to like it. Please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. <laughs> Oi! I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you hear me? around. Now I wonder what kind of beasts are there. What kind of beasts are part of this trial? You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the keepers for information. Revelio. This place could do with a bit of pruning. Confirm. Let's look around. Is that a? It is. I believe I know what must be done. Yes, don't face. That is definitely an animal. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must nice. be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. <laughs> okay. Thanks, boss. Oh, well, that that is big sea monster. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Oh no. Ouch. 
spells could actually do some harm to it. Second round. Okay, what what it, is it doing? Now it's angry. Third round. I need your help, friend. He's a quite a f animal whisperer. A beast whisperer. Magical beast whisperer. Grab horn mount. Say we pick up the pace a bit. Faster. <laughs> Here it's we like go. Like battle tank. See how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Perfect. Target This was scrap horn test. Rebellion.
Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Well, he at, at least greeted us. Let's see what how the story, story unfolds. Hello? Is it Dora? Dora is a jar. Is it Dora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Her soul. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. Okay. Not good. We must gather the others. Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. You taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> She's a 
I see. Well, that explains why there isn't a painting of Isadora. Because she's not anywhere present anymore. Apparently, old magic didn't save her from that spell. Harry Potter was saved. But it, it wasn't defined fully what kind of ancient magic spell her her uh, his his uh, mother had what kind of old magic she used so it's like yeah this happened <laughs> The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the ah. repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. 